It's a new year and you have decided to get serious about your food storage, your prepper pantry, and when you have a nice backlog of basic pantry items to get you through the tough times or fill in your grocery budget when times are hard for whatever reason, it gives you quite a bit of peace of mind. So I'm going to give you all of the foods that never expire. That means if you purchase these items for your prepper pantry, you do not have to worry about replacing them. They last pretty much forever. If you enjoy prepper videos, hook me up with a thumbs up and let's get started. By the way, thank you to Thread Market for sponsoring today's video. Honey, honey, this stuff lasts <laughs> forever. It literally does not go bad ever. You can ask a bee farmer, is it called a bee farmer? A bee hunter, gather, bee raiser? <laughs> My grandpa had bees. We would typically get honey for my grandpa in jars like this. Now, real honey with no additives will crystallize, which means it turns hard. You can kind of see that in this jar right here, but never fear. If you heat it very slowly, not in the microwave, but like in a pot of water on the stove as low as you possibly can and slowly dissolve the crystallization, it will be thin and pourable and as good as new. But don't underestimate the deliciousness of crystallized honey because you can dip that sucker with a spoon and just eat it. Having a sweetener on hand like honey is fabulous for all kinds of cooking. You can use it to make bread if you don't have access to sugar and it cannot go bad. It is shelf stable. In fact, in 2015, archeologists dug up some tombs in Europe and found honey that was 3000 years old and still edible. It is a natural antimicrobial science. Who knew, right? The only thing I'm going to say is don't feed it to babies mm. under one as their immune systems are still developing. But if you're over one and you don't have any allergies, this is the perfect thing to stock up in your food storage. Next, wheat or wheat berries. Now, if you do not have a uh, celiac, you should not have a problem with wheat unless you have a specific allergy. This is what they use to make flour to make bread. And because this has not been ground up, the oils have not been released. And if stored properly, these can last more than 30 years. Now, the most obvious thing to do with the wheat is to grind it and make bread, which is delicious. Bread might be my favorite carb next to potatoes and then maybe cookies, but I digress. But you can use it without grinding it in other methods. Number one, you can use your blender and make whole wheat pancakes. I have a recipe that is freaking delicious. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm making them tomorrow. Another thing that you can do is if you soak it overnight in water, much like beans, and then you boil it on the stove, kind of like rice, you can put it in soups and stews like barley. Ways that you can extend the shelf life of your wheat is to keep it in airtight buckets, put in oxygen absorbing packets so you can lower the oxygen content of the container. And my favorite way is to put it in buckets, like food grade sealed buckets. If you can't find some of these items that I'm talking about, or if you don't wanna leave your house and you don't really wanna put on pants and do all of your shopping online, it is 2023 after all, Thrive Market to the rescue. Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Let me tell you about Thrive Market and some of my favorite products. So Thrive is an online marketplace. It is subscription-based, much like some other big box stores you may have heard of. But if you do the annual membership, it's only $5 a month, which is a great deal. And if you use my link today, thrivemarket.com slash frugalfitmom, link down below, not only are they going to give you 30% off of your first order, they will also give you a free gift up to 60 bucks. And if you decide you don't like it for any reason in the first 30 days, they'll refund your money. I also like it because with the Thrive Gives program for every paid membership, they donate a membership to a family in need, first responder, teacher, or veteran. And if you're thinking Thrive Market is going to be more expensive than a grocery store, think again. Because if you find this product anywhere else for less money, they will match the price. So it truly is the cheapest shopping experience for you. You can find specialty products, which I have a hard time finding in my town. And if you eat a specific diet in any way, paleo, keto, Whole30, gluten-free, you can sort by that style of diet. You just pick the item and it'll pull up all the products that fit under that distinction so it's easy for you to shop and find what you need. Now, in addition to all of the products that I talk about in this video, which you can purchase on Thrive Market, here are some of my favorite items that I like to purchase every time I make an order and what I got in my last box. Over here, I have some requests from the husband, snack foods, it's specifically plantain chips, and some jerky. 
If you haven't tried the Thrive Market granola, this will change your life. This is so delicious. A couple of pantry items, some dried pasta, and over here I have a bunch of pasta sauce. I'm trying a bunch of different brands to see which one I like the best. Chipotle lime mayo for the win. I do love this Primal Kitchen pizza sauce, and so this time I wanted to try the white pizza sauce with avocado oil, of course. Favorite product alert, Thrive Market Salsa, in the smoky Chipotle. And what is life without pepperoncinis on your salads, in your sandwiches, and in your roast? I also picked up a few spices, some pickles, and some non-food items. I got a few silicone baking mats to try out. I've never had them. I feel like this time in my life, in my kitchen, like I've made it. I've had my own kitchen for 20 years. I finally got silicone baking mats. I have arrived. I also got these like spot patches because I do get breakouts sometimes. Yay! wrinkles and acne that you can use overnight so far can recommend like hello no breakouts right now and I picked up some garbage disposal tabs for my kitchen garbage disposal go check it out look at all the products see what you might like remember if you sign up with my link thrivemarket.com slash frugalfitmom 30% off your first order plus a free gift you cannot go wrong it's the first link down in the doobly-doo let's talk about more foods that never expire every long-term food storage and every kitchen should have salt, whatever variety. It's inexpensive, it's easy to obtain, and it is essential for survival. This is a nice coarse sea salt that I did get from Thrive Market. I have some pink Himalayan salt. It's a food flavor enhancer. It is delicious. It makes everything that you eat more palatable. If you ever wonder why fast food is so yummy, it's the salt, my friend. You wanna know why restaurant food is better than your food? Salt and butter, that is the truth. It has also long been used as a food preserver. It creates an environment where bacteria cannot grow. And did you know that sodium deficiencies can result in fluid retention, dizziness, fatigue, confusion, seizures, headaches, irritability, weakness, and vomiting, just to name a few. So even though some people for health reasons might need to eat a low sodium diet, that doesn't mean a no sodium diet. You do have to have some in order to survive for your body to function properly. Talk to your doctor if you're concerned about what your salt intake should be. Good old rice. It is best stored under 40 degrees. So if it is in a 40 degree and oxygen deprived environment, rice can last upwards of 30 years. Now, if you store it at like 70 degrees with oxygen absorbers, we're talking 10 to 20 years, depending on where you live probably. I prefer to store white rice as there's less oils in it. Oils tend to go rancid over time. So brown rice is not my first choice. You can add just a little bit of salt and I would be happy eating that. In fact, I'll just eat plain rice. That's how good it is. You can mix it with anything as a meal extender. I've even seen rice pudding ice cream if you wanted to make a dessert. Spices make your food delicious and they do provide other health benefits depending on the spice. Here are some of the Thrive Market spices that I just got in my recent box. Spices will last the longest if they are in a cool, dry and dark environment the last over a year. Now they don't go bad. Their potency might go down a little bit. Which spices should you stock up on? You should stock up on the ones that you already use. If you have never used curry powder, maybe this is not the one for you. Like if you have it, but you don't know what to do with it, don't do this one. If you use Italian seasoning and garlic powder every single day in your kitchen, stock up on those. Distilled white vinegar is an amazing product to have in your long-term food storage. This will last indefinitely and it has a ton of uses. First of all, you can use it in your food. You can use it to make dressings, sauces, and marinades. And you don't have to use it in food at all. You know, people that clean with vinegar, it kills germs and is excellent for mopping your floors, wiping your kitchen counters, and even cleaning your bathroom. That's about it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you store baking soda in an airtight, moisture-proof, cool, like 40 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit container, it will last indefinitely. It's when you remove it from those situations and open it that it does start to have a shelf life of six to 18 months, depending on your storage. Fine grain white powder that you can use in and out of the kitchen. It acts as a leavener when you're cooking. So you can use it in cookies, breads, pizza crusts to give it some extra floofiness. And it also makes a great household cleaner because its basic composition reacts with acidic odors to stop them dead in their tracks. It kind of is a miracle worker, especially when you're cleaning, and it is slightly abrasive. So if you mix it with water and scrub, 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 it can get off those really hard cooked on like stained surfaces that you have. Good old 
canned food. I love these in your food storage because they are easy. If you get the ones with the pop top, you don't even need a can opener. Usually you don't have to cook them. You don't have to add water. You can eat them cold right out of the can, just like this. You may have heard it been said that there is a date on it. Best if used by, this one says September of 2025. However, if you go to the <laughs> USDA website, it says word for word, I'm gonna read it word for word for you, are safe indefinitely, indefinitely. Canned food will last for years as long as the can itself is in good condition. No rust, no dents or swelling. I love canned products in your food storage and just like the spices, use the ones you already use. Choose the ones you already have in your rotation and you already know how to work with. Don't forget if you wanna get some of my favorite products or any of these long-term food storage items from Thrive Market, you can use my code thrivemarket.com slash frugalfitmom. First link down below, save 30% off of your first order and a free gift up to 60 bucks. Okay, good luck to you putting together your long-term food storage pantry and I'll see you in the next video, bye.